I have a menu item here for my shop floor mobile program, but generally this is going to run as a standalone uh, application out on the shop floor for uh, those users. It really is separate. It's a web-based application to be mobile and resizable depending on the device. So it could run on a PC or a tablet or even a phone. So I'm just going to launch it from here and it's launching my browser. And from a labor standpoint, this is where the uh, workers on the floor are just going to clock in for the day. And I'm clocked in as Allison Peterman. And of course, I, I'm using this it, on a computer that doesn't have a scanner, so I'm just going to be typing most things in. But I can switch it to scan mode, which basically would put every one of the forms into a scan mode where you just make one scan of a barcode and it will fill in the entire form uh, with paper on the floor. But you can certainly go paperless also. So we're just going to show some of the high level overview of what we can do with the shop floor mobile. Starting with runs, we're going to run a job. Basically, we just choose the job that we're running. And again, if I was in scan mode, I would just scan one barcode and it would fill all of this in. I'm just manually doing this for now. You can see I'm logging into the drill operation. And then I would just submit and that would log me into that job and start the clock, start measuring time. And I would come back later and, and just uh, create a end transaction. I'm not going to start that, but uh, you see how easy that is. And the purpose of this whole application is really to make it easy and very intuitive for the folks out on the shop floor to do their labor and material transactions. So another thing we can do here, which is really nice, is the scheduling piece. Uh, think of the shop floor foreman out on the floor or even the workers, if they were doing paper list they could use this as a an electronic dispatch report and use this instead of paper so I would choose the department that I'm working in you can also set preferences to default to the department uh, for for particular users but if I'm for instance working in the cutoff saw department I can click on that department and see all of the jobs that are scheduled in that department so this is in the order that the schedule ran and said I can do them in but as a foreman I might look in here and say you know what this is a higher priority because it's a priority two versus no priority here so I can just drag this right on up to the top. So when my workers are in here looking at this dispatch, now they see it in the order that I want it done in. Uh, so I can, I can move this around any way I want. The nice thing about this is I do have these little indicators that let me know that this is an overdue operation. So it's, it's late according to the schedule already. I do have my materials that are required for it and the material from the previous operation is there. And there's no labor connected to it yet. If this was filled in, I can tell if somebody was actually logged in and it would have their name underneath, by the way. And I can see if there's documents available so I can easily come in and look at the documents that are associated with this. And I can also look at specifications, which are possibly work instructions. So I don't need a piece of paper to come out to the floor with me. So it's a great tool to be able to use out on the shop floor. Work order materials, basically, you're just the material handler going around and that will size on a phone or a smaller tablet or a RF device so that you can scan your materials and issue them to jobs and move them around the warehouse. Purchase receiving, physical inventory is great. You can do full physical counts and count tags with the device, uh, along with sending out shipments. WIP is something that is a really nice feature that a lot of systems don't have because when items go into WIP, whether it's materials or sub-assemblies, a lot of times they're lost because there's not an necessarily an inventory location for those items. So uh, this whole WIP functionality allows you to track where that material is. And it also allows you to create a to-do list or a task list for the material handler. So when a job comes out off an operation out on the shop floor, the user can actually create a move request when they complete their labor ticket. And that move request then turns into a material handler queue. So the material handler always has this queue letting him know what jobs came off of operations that are ready to be picked up and moved to the next operation. So it's a, it's a great way to track where that WIP material is and for the material planner to know when he needs to pick things up and move them to the next operation so they don't sit at, a, at an operation when completed. And that's a quick overview of the shop floor mobile application.